Hisham Salam, professor of uh, vertebrate paleontology at uh, the American University in Cairo and the founder of Mansoura University Vertebrate Paleontology Center. The discovery was published in one of the important uh, scientific journals, Berger, uh, documenting a new genus and species of rodents that lived in Egypt uh, 34 million years ago. We named it uh, Catranimis safrutas. Catranim is in honor of the area that we discovered the, the fossils from, and Safrutas because it's really tiny uh, rodent. And it's considered to be one of the ancestors of the largest living rodent today, which is Cababera, that lived in Southern America. And the story of migration uh, of rodents from Africa to America is really phenomenal because it's actually these rodents used uh the Ant uh, the atlantic ocean to cross uh the uh, uh in the way of the migration using the rafting technique which is uh actually is a, a green uh, mat of vegetations that uh, was in, in in the forest and the tsunami cut it or or some, for some reason it being cut and uh, moved uh, the current moved the uh, green mat from Africa to Southern America, and then landing there uh, along with uh, not only rodents, but also uh, monkeys, which is the new world monkey today. Uh, these kinds of discoveries actually help us to understand what happened in the past, to, to learn about our present and anticipate what's gonna happen in the future.